Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Mam, and in this video we're going to show you how to apply particle swarm optimization or PSO for short to optimize phase durations in traffic lights using SUMO and MALBA. All of this video is based on this paper and I only use their code and their library too to fi and fine tune the code to fulfill my needs in my research. This paper is luckily available online and you should read it. You should read it and I highly recommend reading it before you start applying PSO to SUMO since this paper represents the core of this work and this video. <clears throat> before we start it is good to give you an idea of what is happening in this paper. As you can see here in figure 1, this intersection is represented by a single traffic light in SUMO. Whereas here, this code represents the program for traffic light that controls the traffic light. Whereas here, each line is a phase. So this phase has a duration of 14 seconds and it, its state is represented by this, double G and double R or GGRR. Those are corresponding to those two streets. That is, this is green and this is green. Whereas the rest or this two are reds. And the next phase, after 14 seconds, the traffic light switches to the second phase, which has a duration of 5 seconds, and its states will, will change those two greens into yellows, and so on. This phase will change those two into reds, and opens those streets, which turns them into green, and has a duration of 40 seconds. And now you can judge why you want to apply PSO to this, and or to your map sure to have the optimal phase time for each traffic light in the intersection. The problem with this technique is that it only statically producing optimal results. That is, optimal phase, phase durations were not generated dynamically, but offline processing using only predetermined traffic data. And all of this is clearly stated in the aim of this paper or the aim of this at the aim of their work which is found on page this page 7 yes um, you should read this paragraph carefully our aim here is not to dynamically generate cycle programs during an isolated simulation as done as is done with agent means programs algorithms but rather to obtain optimized cycle programs for a given scenario and a timetable So let's jump to the uh, project folder, which is called SwarmTL. This code, or this is the project folder by which we can apply the uh, particle swarm optimization in or to Sumo. So let's see. This, those were the original files from uh, those uh, the, the authors of the paper and I created my own which contains only two intersections as you can see here those are uh, those files pertaining to uh, the sumo file the sumo zoom program and there are a bit of things that I need to clarify or I need to to make you to make it uh, to make notice about them so this file, which is called info.500.2intersections, this file is must must be present in your file, which uh, has the past two intersections TL, and it has those attributes. This the explanation of the of those attributes is presented here. By which, um, how many traffic lights or how many uh, traffic lights that are present in this map? There are two, and this two intersections is corresponding to this, which is the path path one and path two, which all, which is this path, the folder name. Well, and where else uh, sixteen represents the total phases, graphicalized total phases. Five hundred is the total number of vehicles, and one thousand and six hundred is the simulation time. So let's see here. Um, we have the TL logic. As you can see, there are only two, two traffic lights, 
each phase contains eight eight phases and the all all of the phases are 16 here are eight and here are eight and so let's see what is other thing those or this file contains the best optimal results that is if we have phase duration for the first and for the first rough light of 12 14 and so on those uh, those numbers were generated by using the PSO so how to apply the PSO I won't going to explain the uh, meaning of or each line of code but I'd rather I'll jump into executing the PSO directly all of this code and the Malba code is presented in the description of this video so this uh, folder or this uh, make make file uses the the Malba as I said in the environment as you can see uh, Malba home Malba you should you, you should define your own uh, paths if we go to the directory of home my blooming so let's see home there's must be a folder that is called malba this is this must be compiled and um, tested without any errors so that your your code runs correctly and now let us open the terminal and execute the PSO algorithm or the PSO application towards the sumo. Uh, first, let's see it into this path, cd swarm, and see the PSO, and then make clean make CEQ, which will this particle swarm optimization. There are two or three three methods either you run the particles sequentially which I will use here or you can run them concurrently on the same computer which I did not work solving it did not work with me or you can have multiple computers and running the PSO on it and also I, I did not I didn't try it so let's just uh, enough uh, running the PSO sequentially make CQ. Let's see. So as you can see here, when I press enter, it will start executing the PSO. Um, so let's see the configuration file. As you can see, this path number total phase is 16, number of vehicles 500, and uh, the same thing is here. This the uh, the best solution, TLS best solution could be the best solution. So let's see from where those numbers came from. Those numbers come from if we track the make file. The make file has the main SEQ, as you can see, main SEQ, which loads the library of which loads some of variables or some things from the library of Malba. And then when we execute only SEQ, this is the this first uh, would contain all, uh, the main SEQ was executed with the following parameters to it so PSO.CFG is the configuration file of the PSO which is here number of fundamental runs, number of generations, swarm, times, uh, swarm size and other properties of this algorithm the, the temporary file that will store the results and this this uh, file contains the uh, additional information by which the algorithm needs and this file contains the best solutions and finally the, the results would be stored in the txt results.txt so let's, uh, let's press enter see what would happen so as you can see uh, it starts executing the sumo and it automatically or gener automatically generating the green versus red 
we should read the paper to to uh, understand what we, the, this uh, called the uh, some uh, measurement that is used to evaluate the effectiveness of this uh, operation it's almost like the ratio of green versus red so you should consult the paper and to see what is happening here so after uh, after this code finishes you will see the optimal cycle results stored in this file this contains the previous execution results as you can see here and that is all and thanks for watching